Okay, this is going to be uh, the tutorial for the basic uh, motion twin skills using Adobe Animate CC 2017. Uh, so let's take a look what we're going to have. It's a pretty simple animation. So one motion twin and one shape twin. So this is what we're going to do. So let's get started. So I'm making new document. Uh, I'm not going to change anything. It's just a default setting 550 by 400, 24 frames per second. Okay. Okay. So now, first, um, I'm going to rename this layer as a motion because we're going to do motion twin. So first, on um, frame number one, I'm going to draw uh, one perfect circle. Um, any fill color, maybe a red fill and black stroke. I may have a little bit thicker outline, maybe heavier stroke weight. Let me type maybe three. Okay. Now let me draw one circle on top left corner uh, by holding down the shift key so we can keep the, um, the same proportion uh, so this is the first so the plan is I'm going to move this from the top left corner to the bottom right corner okay so first always motion twin select the layer make sure your playhead is on the frame number one highlight the frame go to insert menu and motion twin now it will show you um, 24 frames of uh, the segment on your motion layer because the our default frame rate is 24 frames per second so I have a departure I need a destination on frame number 24 by inserting a keyframe so we have two dots departure and the destination okay. on frame number 25 and 24 on the second keyframe <clears throat> let me just move this to the bottom right hit the return so we have this very simple so routine is uh, select the first frame and insert a motion twin uh, but um, yeah the draw the object first and insert a motion twin insert a keyframe and just to change the location of your object on the second keyframe so it is animating on the straight pathway pretty simple and then uh, just place your mouse cursor on the path you're going to see that kind of little arc under your mouse cursor and hold down your mouse button and drag it push or pull any direction and hit the return so we can preview it so we can change the path and then now I want to make some change somewhere in the middle like a frame number 12 or 13 wherever it is and then place there your mouse cursor I mean your playhead this red box somewhere in the middle and insert another keyframe so once you insert the keyframe that's the location where you can make some changes you can relocate it or you can change the size angle anything related to motion uh, so since I have this I'm going to choose I'm on the second keyframe in the middle let me change the tool to free transform tool from the toolbox and I can make it bigger or I can make it as a oval shape or by holding down the shift key you can keep the same proportion 
let me make it a little bit bigger i'm gonna share like this and let's play this is a motion twin now let me add a new layer on top for shape twinning shape uh, unlike motion twin uh, shape twin it happens between two different objects motion twin it happens in one object but on the shape twinning it happens in between two different objects so first I'm gonna draw maybe a blue square somewhere here oh sorry blue square somewhere here like this and on frame number 24 the last frame as I mentioned it happens between two different objects I'm going to draw uh, maybe on the yellow uh, circle on frame number 24 but on frame number 24 it's not ready yet so what we need to do is we need to prepare uh, one empty room which it is uh, it's called blank keyframe insert timeline and blank keyframe make sure frame number 24 is highlighted so now we have an empty circle empty dot I'm gonna draw um, yellow circle somewhere where the um, uh, we used to have uh, the blue square have this and that so we're almost there now between blue square and yellow circle select any frame in between any frame is fine and then go to insert menu and shape so shape twinning uh, it transforms uh, the shape and also it blends the color as well okay so this is a motion twin and shape twin